Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna make stick fall physics on scratch and I'm gonna show you how it works. So it's just a pencil falling and it bounces in a tilted way. Now let's make it. So now let's draw the line. So just draw a line, but draw the line from the center point to like to here. I'll make it a little bit more thick like this. Now let's go back to code. And also let's make a background just uh, Simply make a ground here, like this, and we don't need the outline, so I'll just make it to zero. Yeah, that's better. And now, so I need a dot for the stick to bounce. So I'll just zoom in a little bit and add a dot. And the dot should be in the center. And I will make it a little bit more bigger, not too much. Yeah, this much is better. And now let's do the program for the gravity. So when the green flag is clicked, should, the dot should be here. Let's set the position. And let's add and forever block. I'll zoom it a little bit. And uh, now let's make a custom block. Bounce. Run without screen refresh. And and what I have to put here, what I have to add is, I have to add and change y block and make a variable gravity then i should like take this and drop it here so it will change y by the gravity and let's change gravity by minus 0 0.5 so that it will like it, oh yeah i forgot to add the bounce here now it will just go down so we need to, it to go up when it touches here to make it look like it's bouncing so i have to add an if condition here before the change gravity block and uh, so here i have to check whether I'm touching the color green, the ground. And if it's touching, I should set the variable to, I should make the variable into a positive number. So what I have to do is just take a negative, I mean, subtract block and add zero at this side and gravity at the other side. So now this will make it in, this will make the negative number I have kept here into a positive number so that it will go up. And then one more thing we have to, I'll duplicate this, change Y and add it here. Now this will make the thing, this, this will make it bounce. Yeah, it's bouncing. But it's just going forever like that. It's like not slowing down and stopping. So what I have to do is I have to set the gravity to like two. Take a, I'll take a subtract block, subtract gravity by any number, but it should not be a very big number. So if it's a big number, the bounce will be less. And if it's a greater number, I mean, if it's a small number, it will be greater and if it's a if it's a bigger number 
the bounds will be less. So I'll just add three here. Just need to be a little bounce. Now let's see how this works. Yeah, it's reducing and let's see. Yeah, it's it stopped. So now what we have to do is go to the stick. Now let's add a forever block here. And then go to events, take the green flag. And forever it should go to the sprite to the dot. So before you do this, you have to go to the costumes and make sure that one side of the stick should be in the center of the screen, here, center of the canvas. So the dot should be at the side like this. So now we have to make it like tilt a little bit. So let's make another dot. But when I make this dot, it should not have the same variable. We have to create a different variable. So I'll make gravity two. And wherever there is gravity, change it to gravity two. The other variable. Change this, change this, change this, this, and this. And let's also change this to two. So now both of them have a different bounce. And I'll change the position of this dot to this position. Let's change the y to like minus 50, 55. And still there. Why not this one? I should change this one by minus 55. What's in the y should be 30, okay. So here the y, sh y should be 30. And now both of the dots are at different places. And now let's make the stick point towards this sprite. So let's just add point towards sprite three the dot at the side wait a second there is one mistake for you make the just add put the stick here and now now it will work yeah there it's uh, now very realistic and we can also hide this uh, variable now it's has a tilt and let's also hide those these two sprites but you can't just use the hide block it will break the code so what we'll use is we'll use a set ghost effect 200 so let's set the ghost effect to 100 and for same for the sprite set Ghost effect to 100. And that's it. If you like this video, please subscribe and click the bell icon. Thank you.